Welcome, I'm Enrico Maraskin. I'm a pediatrician practicing in Morningside in South Africa. This is my passion, little children. I love seeing children in their natural setting, learning, discovering, going to school, playing sport and staying happy. Here we have the vaccine schedule that is uh, produced by the Pediatric Management Group of South Africa and we can see from the schedule, very busy slide and by the time the child gets to 12 years of age we see that there are lots of injections and lots of holes in this poor child's skin. However, on the left hand column we have a long list of illnesses which we're going to consider today. Mumps. Mumps is a viral infection that results in swelling of the glands of the face, fever and sore throat. Pain is a feature of the illness. Rarely it can cause hearing loss, encephalitis and the infection of the testicles and the ovaries. The infection of the uh, testicles is particularly painful, uh, often occurs in uh, fertile males and because the testicle is enclosed in a capsule, um, there's no space for the swelling to go and you can imagine uh, you know, swelling in a tight space causes a lot of pain. Once a testicle has been infected uh, with uh, mumps, uh, it can be rendered infertile. Uh, fortunately, uh, one of the uh, testicles is only infected at a time usually uh, which then spares the infertility uh, to the affected male. So, having considered the facts pro and con vaccination, what is your decision? I came across this side on the internet. I consent to being forcibly restrained and injected with multiple viral strains, preservatives and heavy metal adjuvants. Said no baby ever. Having looked at all the facts in our talk, you can see that the effects or side effects of the vaccine are very small if one compares it to the devastating effects of the illnesses that we deal with. If we have a look at the right hand slide, we have a child who is fully immunized and protected against these life-changing illnesses. In my opinion, if I had to choose, I would choose to vaccinate my children fully with the knowledge that we are placing these children at risk if we don't vaccinate. So thank you for joining me, uh, Enrico Maraskin, uh, in this uh, discussion. I hope I've shown you the reason for my passion for controlling the disease processes that uh, we vaccinate against and I hope it will give you some insight uh, into making your own decision of whether to vaccinate or not vaccinate.